Okay, you cannot write this code. All right? Now, in OS, first principle of object orientation is divide and hide whatever logic or whatever piece of code is specific to something that should be abstracted. So what they do in Linux, this part of the code is called a low-level driver. They implement one module called low-level driver module. Low-level drivers are responsible to provide the code to interact with controllers. Then they implement this kind of code as high-level drivers. High-level drivers are responsible to take care only about what to execute on device. But in execution time, together they have to execute. If one of them runs, it will not be able to do the whole operation. Okay. So clear breakup of two modules. We have a low-level driver, we have a high-level driver. Why is this required? Why can't we have the whole thing in one? Because different controllers are there on different architectures. USB controller for one main board may not be same on the other main board. Got it? So if you have a driver implemented with both the pieces of code together, the driver may not be portable. You have to re-implement that logic all over again for a new controller when the controller changes. And it means you're not reusing code. One of the object orientation or object oriented principles is reusing code by achieving abstraction. So what they do, they implement this and they abstract this. They're trying to make this part of the code completely controller independent. Okay? Which part of the code? The high level driver. So that the high level drivers need not be ported whenever the hardware changes happen. So this is now first low level driver. This is called high level driver. This understanding is very important. So two types of drivers now exist. Or two, two different modules a driver is broken up to in OS environments, low level and high level. High level responsible to communicate or responsible to provide the code to interact with the end device. Low level responsible to carry out the operations of the high level by interacting with. Okay, now, these two drivers reside like this. We have the hardware. We have the hardware, which includes all that we have seen. Then we have a low level driver. Have a high-level drive. The objective is these two should be independent. This should be reusable because this is specific to our end device. So what they do, they put one piece of code here in between to hide this, to make this independent of the hardware. That's called Bus manager. Generally, we call that as bus manager. Now, it doesn't mean that that particular code is specific to bus, no. The reason why we call it as bus manager is because the controllers are hooked up on different kinds of buses. So, this is simply kernel specific abstraction layer like our VFS. What is the significance of VFS? It's an abstraction layer hiding all the file systems from the applications and allowing the applications to use a common API across different files. Isn't it? That's what VFS is. Similar to VFS, this is simply an abstraction technique. We are masking the low-level driver and its functions and its operations from high-level driver by providing a layer in between a VIML. Okay, an elevated example, the VIML layer. The benefit now. Low level drivers may change, it will not disturb high level drivers. Low level driver controller specific, 
high-level driver remains the PY specific in respect of which controller we are on, how it is connected to processor, it could be embedded. In embedded, a controller could be connected directly to the processor using some kind of pseudo bus, like a glue logic. In case of server platform, it could be PCI Express. In case of a small desktop platform, the controller and the CPU could be connected using a normal PCI bus or ESA bus. In respect of how the controller is connected to the processor, this driver now can be completely independent of Clear with this first, this separation is done. So first job is we need to write these drivers and sometimes we need to write these drivers. Writing these drivers is what we refer to as PSP or the bring up, board bring up drivers. Embedded developers by importing the kernel to different targets, they simply have to do this job. And driver developers, formerly device driver developer community, they engage only in this. They are interested in writing drivers which the applications use. Can we call this driver as a packet now? Isn't it? Application is not interested in this functionality. Application is interested in the top functionality. So we have a BSP community. That's one domain of writing drivers. We have a community called driver, peripheral driver community. Peripheral driver developers just write this job, this, this particular layer. PSP driver developers write this driver. This driver implementation has many, uh, many jobs to do and not difficult, very simple. You don't have to be very much hardware specific. You should know your hardware details and then write this code. So this driver is called bus specific one, bus manager or if this term is difficult for you at this time, you can write down abstraction layer, driver abstraction layer. Later, as we go into drivers, we'll see what they are. Okay, clear? Clear? So if I have a USB keyboard driver, it will be here. In between Linux kernel's abstraction layer, which will hide all the controller functions from the USB keyboard driver, provide this particular layer a set of interface functions. This driver will call those functions whenever it wants to interact with controller. Those functions are translated to low-level calls by the manager. And these low-level calls will take care of physical interaction on the bus. OK? Clear? So this is called. This is generally called in operating systems as a driver stack. Like this, we have a PCI driver stack, USB driver stack, ISPC driver stack. Different buses as we have, different controller buses, different peripheral buses, we have different driver stacks. All right, PCI means you'll have a PCI controller driver PCI manager, an abstraction layer, and all the devices which are hooked up onto PCI bus, the peripheral devices. USB, USB manager, USB controller on top. Like this any driver layer or any driver subsystem is simply three layered. Low level one is completely controller specific. Mid layer, an abstraction layer, and the top layer, a set of drivers for each device found on that bus. Okay. So in our driver classes, we'll begin with first how to implement this, because this is what is the core driver development. And then we'll slowly come down into exploring these. This is completely part of the embedded job. In the normal PC world, we don't write this because PC world, these drivers come as part of kernel source. You don't have to do anything for that. In the embedded world, you have to do little of work on this area because you may find different kinds of controllers, different kinds of devices on different targets. Okay? So let's go into now the first one. Till here, clear? 